Let's take a look at the Hopper app for the Hack RF1 with Portapack running the Mayhem firmware. So this is a really cool app because what it allows you to do is flood different frequencies and you can flood them and do uh, various things with that. For instance, um, I have right here the Flipper Zero. So what I'll do with this is go to sub gigahertz, read, and we have this right here, right? And we can see on the Hopper app, I've got two signals already, 315 and 433. So if I hit start here, see that? Stop. If I start it, we can see it's doing something there. It's reading that signal. So to get even a little deeper, let's say I really want to focus in on a single signal, right? So in that case, I can actually scroll up here and we will get rid of that 315. Bam, there we go. Now we're only spamming 433.92. So for instance, if I bring the flipper back up, you can see I'm on 433.92 right here. If I hit start, now I'm only spamming that signal. It's worth pointing out in this app as well that there's a number of different functions down in this area that you can manipulate. Uh, for instance, the hop, right? So if I added 315, so now I have these two here. We can see when I start it up that, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we can see when I start it up that it's hopping real fast. It's hopping at 50 milliseconds, so half a second between each signal. But if I want to, I can slow that down. So if I come here, uh, the max right now that they have is 10 seconds. So let's say I put it up to a second and I start. So each signal will run for a second. So you can manipulate all these things, the, the time that this cycle will keep running through. For instance, if I set this at five seconds and my sleep at one second, that means that it's going to hop between these two signals. Each signal will play for one second. This entire thing will play for five seconds. After that five seconds, it will pause for one second and then start the cycle over again. Let's take a look. Now one signal, the next signal, it's going to do this for five seconds. And then we'll see that it pauses, right? It keeps doing that over and over again, over and over again. So there was something else that I wanted to try. I wanted to see if I could get my little camera here, if I could kind of kick it off or, or disrupt the signal somehow so that it, it would not display to my phone anymore. So let's see here. Here, let's just unlock this. There we go. So... It's just connecting now. Let's get it connected. It says it's offline here. It's it's actually connecting to my Wi-Fi right now. Let's see if I can check over here. I have all my all my stuff up. Let's see what it's got going. All right. It doesn't look like it's on quite yet, but it will be in just a second. And once it is. We'll be able to, to do something fun with the Hopper app. We'll actually be able to disrupt the signal so it stops displaying on the phone. And I've only tried it so far with 
I haven't tried it with five yet, five gigahertz. I've only tried it on 2.4, but come on. There we go. All right. So we can see right here that I got the camera going, right? Very nice. So if I look on my, my network, if I look inside my network, I can see what channel that this thing is displaying from. So the channel I see it's displaying from right now is channel 11. And channel 11, um, the frequency on channel 11, the center frequency is 2.462 gigahertz. And the frequency range is 2.451 to 2.473. And I can create a file on here. It's a simple text file that will go through all of those, right? Here they are, all right here. Now, if I start that up, we can see I've got the camera here. I've got everything running. See what happens when I start that up, because that's the signal that is uh, connecting to, to Wi-Fi. So if I start that up, we can see I've started it and I've disrupted the connection. We saw that for a second there. And it happened again. There it goes, connecting, connecting, connecting again. So I'm disrupting because I'm running through all these channels. You can see I'm running through all of them right here. As I'm running through all these channels, it's, it's disrupting this. And even more so, you can see I had it on these old settings. Let's go back. Let's go back for a second and watch this. This, this is fun. So I go here, I choose the file again. So it's back on the default settings. We can see there's no connection issue. So I move the camera around, no connection issue, right? Now I'll start this up again. And it will start disrupting right away. Now, right now I have to get pretty close to the devices because I don't have the antenna fully extended, uh, but it, you know, with a better antenna and, and fully extended, this could really uh, do some stuff. We can see I'm I'm totally connecting because I'm close to this device now. I'm disrupting it, so I'm I'm getting that connection issue. And, and if I touch it, we see there's no movement. But if I move away or actually stop it, as soon as I stop it, there's my connection. It's back. So very cool, right away again, bam, if I start this up, it's gonna give me a connection issue on that camera. There it is. Stop it, right back to it, start it. I have an issue. Stop it, no more issue in there. There's the phone. We saw it go right into the picture there. So if I start it again, we get issues. If I stop it, no issues. So let me show you this text file that I'm using to create this. It's a text file with a different file extension. And I will show you in utilities. Then we can go to file manager. And if we go down to hopper over here, We can see the file. We'll go to the edit button. Uh, zoom in on this a little bit. So this is the text file. So I've gone through from 2451 to 2473, as that's the entire range. And that's the text file. Nothing special, just you know, enter after each one, list them all. The only thing you have to do is after you create the text file, name it .phop, just a .phop, put it in the hopper folder, and it will be available for you. So again, what we've done is we've created, 
this text file here to be able to run through channel 11. Here, we'll do it again to run through channel 11 and disrupt anything on that channel. Go do this again. Here we are. All right, we've got the camera running as we can see right here, right? There it is, moving around. I hit it. Oh, signal is immediately disrupted. Stop it. Signal immediately comes back. Oh, stop it. Signal will immediately come back. <laughs> I say immediately, fairly immediately. And that's it. The Hopper app for the Hack RF1 with Portapack using the Mayhem firmware. Pretty cool.